So, the full official introductory to All right, we Coma. are going to My Coma. phone's ringing. Okay. Okay. All right. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. everybody. Many more. Damn likely. Here we go. That uh, Victor Huey took from the early 70s. So the, the small photographs in the back, <laughs> and then today he bought five more photographs and frames. So you know, like Fei Chang is in the photograph, and you know Henry Henry Chang is in there some of them, and the old Chinatown uh, uh, Democratic Club. The us to have all these four photographs because what they're doing here is that they play ping pong up on the third floor, and the ball would. So they leave the window open, right? <laughs> yeah, the ball yeah. will go out. So the guy picks it up. He's trying to throw the ping pong ball back up to the third floor. Oh. Uh, okay. Chinatown, New York, I say, well, I should organize the gang kids in New York. Maybe turn them into political movement. So we got this third floor. And uh, we teach these kids a leather workshop. And you know, instead of making leather belts, they make holsters for the guns. Who's that? That's Henry Chan. That's Wing Lee. That's Jeffrey. Team tour, something like that. But here's my other friend. Oh man, rock and roll. All my homies. Some of them not alive anymore. Wow. Fei Chang, who was uh, one of the movers and shakers of basement workshops, he raised most of the money. This is uh, So people say that you know we were not involved in the civil rights movement. They don't know their history. This is the history. Now, I heard that in Washington D.C. And this is uh, just put the money there. We've been fighting for our rights for how long? Look at the wall. This is this is story right here. This is probably my earliest photograph. This is for Confucius Plaza. And this is police brutality a year later. Yeah. And this is like, this is like, yeah, 1982. Where is this? In Chinatown? Where is no, this is not in Chinatown. This is uh, across the street from ABC. Oh. Uptown on the, on the west side. Yeah, because she, was, uh, she was a very good reporter. But at the same time, the fact that she was Chinese and they were constantly, you know, pressuring her and cutting her pay, cutting her pay. And then when it comes to the other, you know, reporters that are, you know, she's actually more seasoned. But they choose the white guy. Even when she was at 11 with Ernest Nasto, he managed to like crawl back to that seven. Because at one time they went, like, if you know, there was like a whole splurt of Chinese female reporters. One year after the nation, because one year sudden, after she was fired, every TV station in New York City hired a Chinese reporter. 